let us continue chapter 14 really only a couple of verses you are going to have today verse 12 and 13 and 14 all right not a couple of verses three verses in solemn truth i tell you anyone believing in me shall do the same miracles i have done and even greater ones because i am going to be with the father you can ask him for anything using my name and i will do it for this will bring praise to the father because of what i the son will do for you yes ask anything using my name i will do it a first impression is like uh, promises promises <laughs> why do we feel um, these words are just empty promises of jesus listen can you ask your friend to lie for you of course you can can you ask your friend to steal for you of course you can it's it is not about your friend's willingness if he will do it but more about his ability to do it because he has a sinful nature he's able to do this but here comes the the twist you cannot ask god to do such thing because it is contrary to his nature so the more sincerely we follow God the more we will actually seek his will and be able to you know align in line our request to his will so if you say um, God not my neighbor but I uh, should win the lottery then yep you will feel these words of Jesus are empty promises because you're not gonna win the lottery but if you say Lord you you entrusted me blessed me with this beautiful gift of, of child I pray that he or she one day would be found and and saved then you can be hundred percent sure that this of your request is very much in line with God's well well you still cannot expect god to take away you know uh, uh, of, of that child of yours um, will free will but you can be sure if you do not give up praying you know sincerely fervently then it will happen one day because this is very much in line with god's will he doesn't want the gift he blessed you with to be lost but to be found remember that today have a joyful and a wonderful day guys bye